everybody. Today we're going to be looking at a locksmithing inventory that's for sale. And the question is, is how much would the lock father be willing to pay? And I'll tell you what, it's my job today to get that price up. Okay. He always picks on me on the price. Yeah, I mean, I know you like to go low, right? It's reality for me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's your reality. But you know what? We have a really cool listing we're going to be talking about. And I hope you guys enjoy the conversation. So how much is locksmithing inventory worth? It's always the good question, right? Yeah. And today I have a listing that we're gonna be talking about that is, um, I'm really excited to get your opinion on that. I, th I think it's pretty typical, pretty standard, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the lock father has to say. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Okay, so I found this listing online. Um, it's actually in our uh, general region, which is kind of cool. And um, well, I'm just gonna, Read it for you here. So it says, uh, locksmith inventory for sale in dry storage, current and rare items selling locksmith inventory machines, equipment and storage for $30,000 or best offer. Now you can also see at the top, they switched it to 25,000 now. This also includes several thousand dollars in new shelving not seen in the picture. Some still in boxes, all these mortise locks, cylinders, keys, machines, and various other equipment would easily exceed the value on eBay for a non-locksmith, but we prefer to sell the storage over to a, lock, like a licensed locksmith so they can service old locksmith accounts as well. So that's the description here. Let me look down here. So the owner retired. Shelving and locksmith inventory all moved to storage while we closed down a 40 plus year old locksmith business and redevelop. And they're getting rid of the land here. Um, we'll include locksmith account information for licensed locksmiths as a sweetener and to better service customers left without support. All right, so let's, let, let's look at these pictures before we start talking okay. about it. So this first picture, what do we see here? I mean, you see some deadbolt cylinders, it looks like, some boxes, it looks like some control boards. What do you think those are for? I can't really. Safes, most likely. Okay. Let's go to the next image here. It says Rustwin IC rim cylinders on it. Okay. Okay, here's a whole picture of the storage unit. Um, it doesn't really say much. I mean, there's a lot of no. stuff there for yeah, sure. Yeah, there is. Can't really tell from there. You can see like an Ilco box. Nothing really too much there. You can really see. It looks like a, not much. Yeah, a bunch of boxes. Box, a bunch of boxes. Right. More boxes. Okay, now these, these sure look familiar. I've seen these at your shops before. Little... Bends. Little tiny, what, like two inch wide bends? Yeah, four inch deep? Three, yeah. Uh, what's on there? A bunch of key blades, it looks like. Automotive. Okay, here's one of the, sh a couple of the shelving units here. You can see, man, that looks eerily similar to yours, doesn't it? Like your bins? Yeah. Um, can't really read what any of them say. Okay, what do we got here? What are those? It looks like they could be a uh, coin-op box. Mm-hmm. Something like that, yeah. huh? Next, okay, we have a couple machines sitting here. Um, Some moldy, moldy ones. And that one actually look like if you look at that shoulder tip stop, mm -hmm. that looks very similar yeah. to one of the ones in your Hayden store. Yeah, as long as you keep them running and keep them pushings yep. in them. Let's go to the next, a bunch of used I see. SFIC. Close. Whole bunch of bins, what's in there? Looks like a bunch of key blanks. A whole bunch of like some latches, some more bins. Yeah, so it looks like they're keeping keys in these bins here. So it looks like some it looks like they took them off the board because they have a key tag. Yep, in there. and put them in the bins. Right. More of though, more bins. Let me see. Okay, an old twelve hundred. That's yeah. like one of the original. That's before the newer model. Yep. You can always I, tell by that. Yeah, I saw mine from. 1979. Yeah. 1980. Yeah. Still works. Yep. Okay, a bunch of latches, like commercial latches. Token, yeah. 
A bunch of cylinders. A um, bunch of X keys, it looks like. Uh huh. Some used commercial locks, most likely. Got an old framing copier. You know, I don't really know what. I don't think that it's framing, is. but it looks like it's a sidewinder. It using. does, but it looks too old to be that to me. Then it could be a tubular. Could be a tubular, huh? Because I have some of those old ones. I have a weird angle on that one. Some more deadbolt cylinders. You know, hey, it's just a lot of pictures. I do appreciate yeah. that. But it's hard to see what it is. That's what like, actually it is, yeah. To use new, some lockout tools. Pre-1975 auto. Okay, we're back to the beginning here. Okay. So we've seen all the pictures now. And, um, you know, I feel like what I when I saw this, I was really excited to talk to you about it because I feel like more than anything, you have done these, what you would call buyouts. Right. Um, Lots of them. Too many, honestly. Yeah. Probably 20 too many would be my guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's always something we're always joking around yeah. about. He keeps buying them. I keep telling him not to. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dad, I mean, kind of walk me through. So, like, first thoughts from what you've seen compared to um, the inventory you see, compared to the price. Like, I mean, where are you a buyer at? Like, if this person is watching this, which they could be, or listening to it, and they want to purchase it. He wouldn't be happy with me. <laughs> okay. Because I, there's no way I would pay somebody that. Because... As he said in his thing, he closed it down. Yep. But he has records of every, you know, stuff so you can contact him and start doing it. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, who's doing them? I'm sure they had to find another source. Yeah. To do what he mm -hmm. stopped doing for whatever reason. Yeah. So, and I'm kind of with you. Like, I think the most lucrative part of all of this. Mm hmm. A 40-year-old locksmithing business. Like, if you were to take that phone number, website. Right. And. Move to another location. Yeah. Move to another location or just even be mobile. Right. Like, That's a you, lot of value. There's there. a lot of value there. Right. Because as far as this stuff goes, honestly, a locksmith shop who is in business for 40 years, like looking at their stuff. We got a lot of junk. Well, it looks like, I mean, like they've done a lot of lock yeah, work over the years, have. right? Right. And, but at the same time, when you look at it, it's very classic when you walk into an older shop, some of the stuff you see. You're going to see a ton of old, the old automotive stuff. You're going to see oh, most of the time a lot of older key machines. I mean, right. maybe a couple newer, but all we see here, at least in the photos, a couple older ones. Right. It's easy to, and like I've talked about before of like a piece of equipment or even like when you buy a new vehicle, right? You buy a new vehicle for let's say 50 grand, two years later it's worth 35, but in your head. If you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, right. But in your head it's worth 50 grand. Right, right. Because right? so that's what you paid. Because that's what you paid. And I think part of the problem is, and I think there's a lot of value in this stuff if you were to like they said, like sell on eBay. Right. But they don't want to take the time to piecemeal it. They want to get rid of it and it's gone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I think the the way to make the most amount of money, it would be to sell it to someone who would put it out on eBay. Probably. Right? With all the different, each individual little piece and Because part. if you were starting from new, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't need all that. You wouldn't need it all. Right. Because, you know, the Corbin Russ win, they're used cylinders. Yep. I mean... It, it it's hard to say what he actually has now i'm always a buyer with old keys because i want all the old stuff because mm -hmm. you can't get it yep so so where are you like where are you a buyer at on this stuff here well we're talking again i'd like to dig uh, through it and yeah, see. yeah yeah but i mean based on I mean, there's quite a few i am impressed they did a lot of photos not a lot of detailed ones but right. there is a lot of photos where you kind of get a general well it, again it's the quantity and what uh merchandise they do have what's new because a lot of it looks used yeah and we all in a lock shop have some used stuff we keep on oh, we'll keep that just in case yep you know so if I, I'm, gonna, I'm pushing you here to actually give a price, but I mean, like, if, if this person, if they end up watching this and they call you. I wouldn't nearly do what they're asking. There's not a lot there for you to resell. 
Right. Based on like, yeah, like, okay. The old equipment, I don't want. Yeah, the old equipment, yeah. I get a lot of it when I buy people at, there it sits. There it know? sits, oh, yes. And that's why I don't give them very much because it's old. And there is a part about the old keys, like you were talking about, like some of the stuff that you would like that you see there. In the 40s, 50s, 20s, yeah. if they have that type of stuff, I'm always going to I'll pay a top dollar. Yeah, but the problem is, is you might buy it all and like we might be on the fifth generation before <laughs> i'll use it yes but look all the keys i have that's back stock and all yeah. the old old ones that are still in boxes uh you know part boxes because there's so many you can't hang them all yeah if you find an old mm -hmm. whatever you you dig through that yeah so i mean if we're talking dollars here once again for the just for all the storage unit full of stuff. I mean, we well, talking? the shelving's worth something if it's good, look like metal shelving. Mm -hmm. So, if it's in good shape, you know, try to buy one today, they're you know, quite expensive, as you well know. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just I'm not trying to be <laughs> negative by any means, I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, like we're not here, I already have everything. Yes, and and I would say, hey, if you end up, if you're watching this and this is your listing, like we're um, just talking about what we think the fair market value is. Like, right. I mean, but no, we're not trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to help you out here. You okay, know? but like, because I have an idea. I mean, if we had a couple pieces of paper, I'd like to write down the number. <laughs> it wouldn't be high. <laughs> it wouldn't be high. I mean, if, I've seen you buy this amount of stuff if not more if not more for five hundred dollars right seriously yeah so it's tough right and so like it's just it's a cold hard reality that like what what we're seeing here is not from what we can tell in the pictures is, is a lot of used stuff right and it's also not a lot of a movers right so the key machines the roll as long as you cut house keys it might be okay. Yeah, but only house keys. I mean, what right. market no value? Automotive. Maybe if they weren't good, probably one one fifty a piece. If that, yeah. If that, right? Because you, right. I mean, you have fifty of them. Maybe At least more. I have more. <laughs> but it that's the difficult, you know, because the guy's worked his whole life, has yeah. all this money invested. Hopefully, he made some good money where over the forty years. Yeah, that yep. you know he can. I'd try to sell as much as I could too. Oh, 100 percent. Well, okay, and so. But I'm a re realist too when it comes to locksmith stuff. Yes. Now, the, the why I wanted to start here is because now I want to bring in what he also says in here because this is where a lot of the money can be made that is listing for, okay. right? And that is well include locksmith account information for licensed locksmiths as a sweetener and to better service customers left without support. Okay, so if we're including... Well, like I said, the support's not there because he's not there. Correct, correct. Now, we don't know, maybe he's still doing a little bit, like maybe, we don't see a van. Yes. Right. We don't see any of that, right? So right. we might be, we might have just closed the shop, still helping some customers, I don't know. Like, okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, we don't know this. But to me, like if I'm gonna make a case to 25K, okay, so like I'm like, okay, so we talked about what you think it's worth, but you're always lowballing. Right. I wanna try to make a case here for the two of us of how he can or she, whoever it might be, can sell this for 25,000, okay? In order to pay 25,000, I'm gonna start throwing out ideas and I'd like now, to Now is this to an existing business or is it to a new person getting into the business? Either way. Okay. Either way. So I would say, First thing is we're going to throw in the phone number, the 40 year old phone number. If there is one. Well, we're gonna assume there is. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And we're also gonna assume that there's just a website. Okay. okay. And which along with that, you would get the properties of any Google reviews. Right. And all of that stuff. Anything related right. to the company. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're gonna throw in that. We're also going to throw in the account information. Now, what that means to me is that there's gonna be um, some sort of form of um, uh, accounting software, let's say QuickBooks, where you can print out a customer list. Right. Okay? okay. We're gonna print that out. But he didn't show any computers. No, but I mean, it, he probably kept the computer. Of the okay. Manage, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so we don't see any van either, right? Right. And we're gonna get that customer list, and I'm gonna ask him or her, whoever it might be, whoever's running the company, to 
tell me who the 20 best customers are on this list. It's probably 10 pages long, would be my guess, or longer. Right. The 20 best customers, and I'm going to ask if he can personally take me there and introduce me. Right. And that, that's a great idea. Right. And I think you start doing all the all of those things. Then it has value. Then there's value there. Right. And so I think the interesting thing to me about this listing is that what the ad is trying to sell is the opposite of what should be trying to be sold. Right. Right? Because it says I have extra equipment I want to get rid of, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, essentially, what all we see is all this equipment right. that maybe might be nice for different people to have, but honestly, is what I'm doing, okay? I am probably either finding a family member or a professional eBay seller. Mm -hmm. And I'm selling all the old ignitions and anything antique that people just like to collect. Right. Or old automotive locks that people would want to use to restore vehicles with. Right. Absolutely. You're going to get top dollar. Right. On eBay on that stuff. Right. Now, it's going to take a lot of work because you got to take photos, descriptions. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes either a professional eBay seller or a family member that has a bunch of extra time that they can start. You can make a deal with them, you know, 50-50, yeah. whatever right. it might be, and just start letting them pound through that stuff. Absolutely. Right? And I'm kind of getting rid of that. I'm going to sell the shelving separately. Yeah, because everybody needs shelving. Yeah, because you can get top dollar on Craigslist or Facebook right. Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. And then I'm going to be focusing on the main business assets. Maybe keep a, a key machine or two, like the 1200 and a key machine, right? There's some value there. Absolutely. And any of the basic... I presume they have all the cards, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're assuming, I mean, we're assuming a lot here, but right. I just want to try to build the case to 25 because, okay. I mean, what would, be the, what would be the fun of just talking about how much the equipment's worth? I mean, a guy like you, 500 bucks... I mean, I, I've seen you offer people stuff, okay? Yeah. And, and I get it, don't I? <laughs> You do. You do get it. Because <laughs> I'm honest with them, you know. Yeah. and um, But yeah, I think that's how you get it. So I'm kind of curious what you think about that, if like where the value is. Well, the value would go a lot higher than what I would pay if he would take you around to the customers. Yep. And say, here's the best top 10, you know. Yep. But, you know, it's, I'd raise it. How much? I'd like to see how much he did in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, what his total sales were yeah. to see if I'm able to build it up or is the best you did was 25. Yeah. Well, I would say, you know, if we take the 80-20 principle, right? 20% of your customers is bringing 80% of your business, yeah. right? My mm -hmm. thing is, I'm like, hey, if we can get, if we can go introduce me to the top 20 customers, let's say, and um, through our set, quick sit down. Right. And I can introduce myself, give them my business card, right. all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. and maybe get 10 of the 20, 50%, right. you're really off to a good start. Absolutely. You're instant making money. Yep. And that phone number, I'm telling you. The phone numbers are very Phone numbers valuable. for older locksmith companies, the phone numbers and any of the Google listings that right. you have are the most valuable thing. Yep. Anybody. That's, every company I bought where they had a store, I got the phone number. Yep. and everything just for that reason. Yeah, it's the most valuable thing. Right. Because they're calling, they go, oh, I thought it was going so-and-so. Yeah. Oh, well, we bought it from them. Yep. So, yeah, that's that, that, That's what I think. Yeah. And some of them say they like, yeah, other ones that forget that. Mm-hmm. And that's everybody's choice. That's the reason there's multiple places. Yes. So, I mean, do you think that's a decent case to get to 25? Yeah, I still wouldn't give 25, but it is... A good thing. Like we're getting, we're getting over ten grand. Oh, absolutely! Right, like, like yeah. we're, we're getting up there. Right. And I think the uh, last part I always want to talk about for a minute is I think one of the hardest things to see is you know listen like this person or family whatever it was was in business for forty years. That's older than I am. Yeah. Right. They were doing locksmithing right. longer than I've been alive. Yeah. And I tell you what, you have to, over those years, create such a wonderful base of customers and you have to be competent to stay in business that Absolutely. long. Absolutely. Right? You have to be reliable and mm -hmm. dependable yep. and provide good service. Right? And I just think it's so awesome to see that happen. Oh, yeah. And it honestly hurts, breaks my heart a little bit when you see the stuff just getting... Just operating business and, you know, you get older, they don't want to do it because they can't. Yeah. And, you know, the best thing is get a family member or a friend or somebody who's yeah. willing 
take over. Yeah. It, yeah, because, you know, 40 years for 25 grand isn't much. For the leftovers. Yeah, now, right. I mean, I'm going to assume someone who has been in business that long was very competent and did a great job and probably made a lot of money. Yep. So does it probably need the money would be my guess. Right. Right. Better than paying a storage unit. Yeah. If that's where it's at. You yeah, know. it looks like it. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's, uh, I mean. Yeah, and remember, this is just our opinion, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's, everybody has a different opinion on everything and that's fine. Yeah, well, I think it's fun for us to see this, and it's all kind of all less about this exact listing, right? General and it's more everything. about just kind of uh, really trying to get your perspective on the value here and what that looks like, and way to get the most value. And then it's my job to try to bring you up in that price. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, people call us all the time. So, you know, I was just given two keying kits. And, you know, a key machine given 30 bucks. The guy goes, it was one of your buddies. And he goes, oh, you're interested in this? Yeah. What do you want for it? He goes, well, I'll just give it to you. I said, I wouldn't just take it. But Now, why was one of my buddies calling you, not me? Because they always like daddy. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know. Oh, that's good, Dad. Well, hey, thanks for uh, coming on, yep. talking about this. And um, I hope there's it provides some insights, especially for those who are looking at uh, maybe shutting down eventually. Right. Of where the most value is from our perspective. Right. And locksmith is a great business. You can make a lot of money if you do it correctly. Yeah. Get in the right stuff. Yep. Absolutely. Well, hey, we would love to know what you think in the comments below. And um, we look forward to reading the comments. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again, Dad. Fun, yeah, no fun problem. hanging out with you. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you all next time. Hey, congratulations. You've made it to the end of the video. You probably deserve a medal, maybe a plaque. But hey, I want to make sure that when you're commenting that you're including the hashtag LockBoss. When you do, you automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes we're giving away each week here live on YouTube on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. We'll see you in the comments.